Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today, I'll be going over this week's polling-based problem of the week. For the full problem and the solution transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. Now, today's problem of the week uh, involves the 1948 presidential election between Truman and Dewey. For those of you who don't know the iconic image of President Truman holding up a newspaper saying that Dewey won the election. Uh, the reason that happened is because the November 1st uh, polling data, which was the day before the election, showed that Dewey was most likely going to win. But what actually happened is that Truman won, almost by a landslide. So the problem of the week was to go through this polling data and see how unlikely it was that Truman won this election. Now, the first part of this problem of the week was to find the margin of error for Dewey's lead in the polls. And to find this, we're going to look at the difference of proportions. So we are going to have the sample mean for this data equal to the difference between the two, where P1 is the proportion of voters who wanted to vote for Dewey, and P2 is the proportion of voters who wanted to vote for Truman. And this is equal to 5%. And, okay, so now we have to find the standard error for this polling data. And to do this, we're going to use this convenient formula to find the standard error for a difference in proportions. And when we use this data with Dewey as P1 and Truman as P2, we get a standard error of roughly 2%. I think the actual is 2.004%, but we'll just work with 2%. And now to find the margin of error with a 95% confidence interval, we need to use the central limit theorem to estimate it. And what the central limit theorem states is that with a normal curve, about 95% of the area of the curve is going to be within 1.96 standard deviations from the mean. And what this means is for the margin of error of 95% confidence interval, we get, well, what we have to do is multiply our standard error by 1.96. And we get roughly 4%, because it's about twice. And since our margin of error is 4%, and the um, sample mean is 5%, that means that we are very certain, moderate, very certain, that Dewey is going to win this election. Now, let's find the probability of Truman winning the election based on this polling data. And to do this, oh, <laughs> to do this we have to use z-scores the formula of which is given here. And so we have the sample mean, which is uh, 5%. We have the standard error, which is 4%. And so now we just need the value that we're calculating the z-score for. And since it's a difference in proportion, we want the, the tipping point for when Truman will be winning this election is when the difference is 0. So, call this Z1. When we do this out, we get roughly negative 2.45. And when we use a Z score uh, table, we find that the probability of a Truman win is equal to the probability 
of the z-score being less than or equal to negative 2.45, which is equal or which is less than 0.7%. So based off this polling data, Truman is not looking good for this election. However, when the election came the next day, he actually won by a margin of about 4.5%. And so what we want to do now is calculate the probability that he won by at least what he won by. And to do that, we use z-scores again, and we're going to use the same formula, except the value we want is for p1 minus p2 equal to 45.1% minus 49.6%, which is equal to negative 4.5%. So we put in negative 4.5%. And when we do the calculation, we get a z-score of negative 4.65. And if anyone's used the z-scores before, you know if the z-score is anywhere over uh, 3 or negative 3, it is very unlikely. And so the probability of a z-score being less than or equal to 4.65 Six five is much less than zero point zero three percent. So when looking at this data, it should have been a statistical anomaly that the November second election happened that way. And the reason that that happened is because of the way they did polls back then. They used a quota sampling technique, which meant that instead of just randomly sampling the population, they would choose the people who they sampled so that it matched the demographics of the United States at that time. And one would assume that the people choosing had a slight preference for a Dewey, uh, which resulted in such a, uh, a bad polling technique, I guess, because it did not correlate at all with what happened with the November 2nd election which is pretty fascinating. And luckily, they changed it up so that they do random sampling now. If you want to learn more about the mathematics of sampling and the statistics of sampling, uh, the Center of Math has created a Prezi created by Kelsey, which um, you can find at the link that just popped up on the right-hand corner of the screen. Or you can check the description of this video for the same link. And with that, that is this week's Problem of the Week. For more videos like this, you can click right here. To subscribe to our video channel, YouTube channel, you can click here. To go to our website, centerofmath.org, you can click here. Or you can click that I in the top right-hand corner of the screen and get all of the same links. Thanks.